All right, now in this video, we want to look at the limit of this function in the second way that I told you. So in the previous video we did for, we, we used the first uh, method, which I used the binomial series. I expanded it, and by comparison, we saw that the series was that of the exponential function. Okay, so we are going to do, use the same thing over here. We are going to do the same function over here, but we are not going to use the same approach. Okay, so here I would like to make a, a substitution. I will change this from x to something else in a way that it will give us another form. But the main thing I'll be using here is actually L'Hopital's rule, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and look at it. First thing I would say, let y be one over x. So in place of one over x, I wanna put y. Now you notice that since y is one over x, as x tends to infinity, right, y, which is 1 over x, will tend to what? 0. So you notice that, that as x tends to infinity, since y is 1 over x, y will tend to 0. And again, you notice that since um, x is 1 over y, it means that, um, sorry, since y is 1 over x, it means that x is 1 over y. Okay, so we note all these things and we take it back into the limiting function, <coughs> we're gonna have the limit. Now as x tends to infinity, like I said, it said y tends to zero. So we're gonna put down here y tends to zero of, this is one plus one over x is y, right? And then raised to power x, so we're gonna raise that to power y, to power one over y, and that is it over there. Okay, great. And now, you know that the exponential something e and the natural logarithm, they are inverses of each other. So if I should take e to power log x, we get back x as a result. So I can write x as this. So this over here, right, the whole of this function part, I can rewrite it using this same notation. So I'm gonna put it down as e raised to the power of the natural logarithm, right? Since they are just inverses of each other, they will give me back the input of the whole of this, one plus y raised to the power one over y, and we take the limit as y tends to zero. So I've written this as this, they are the same. Okay. So from here we observe now, notice, since you are saying logarithm of something raised to some power, you know, we can bring this power to, front, to the front of the logarithmic sign. This is going to give us the, the limit as y tends to zero of e raised to the power of one over y. Then we put down this over here. Then um, the natural log of, sorry, the natural log of one plus y. A, one plus y. All right, so you look at it. This, we bring the power down, and we take the natural log of this over here. So this seems to be very complex, but it's not, all right? It is just a power. Now, this is what we'll do. Notice, okay, or let me remind you of a limit property. When we have the limit of b raised to the power of a function of x, all right? As let's say x tends to anything, let's say x naught. This is the same thing as taking b raised to the power of the limit of f of x as x tends to x naught, given that this b is just a constant, okay? So you take the limit of some exponential function, the result is going to be, you now bring down the, the base and the limit is now being raised to the power, it's the same. So we are now going to apply that over here. Since this is just the base, E, and it's a constant value, we are going to take it out and we raise the limit of this to that power, as a power. So I'm going to apply that here. So you take the limit as x tends to x naught, 
Okay, so this is going to give us the limit as y tends to, okay, let me put down the base first. So we're going to put it down as e raised to the power of the limit as y tends to 0 of 1 over y, then the natural logarithm of 1 plus y. So that is it. All right, we just brought the base, which is e, and we raised it to the limit notation of the function. And that is what you get. So we are now going to evaluate the limit of the power. Okay, when we are done evaluating the limit of the power, we just put it back inside the power there. And we raise it, we say e to power that limit. So our interest is in now finding the limit of, so let's say, the limit as y tends to 0 of 1 over y times the whole of that. So I'm going to put down the natural logarithm of 1 plus y over y. So I just want to evaluate the exponent first, then I put it back inside. So here, as y, te as y tends to 0, we are going to have natural logarithm of 1 over 0. So natural logarithm of 1 is just 0 over 0. That is an indeterminate form. So at this point, we are free to use the L'Hopital's rule, right? Given that, and we are going to evaluate that as long as we do not have a 0 over 0 case again, or an indeterminate form, or um, an undefined term. So by applying that, we are going to differentiate this with respect to y, and differentiate this also with respect to y. Right? We differentiate the top and the bottom separately. So by the differentiating the bottom with respect to y, it's going to become 1. Right? The derivative of y respect to y is going to be 1 in the bottom. And at the top, we differentiate the natural law of 1 plus y with respect to y. In fact, that will just give us 1 over 1 plus y. Since this is just linear, all right, if you differentiate it, you're just going to have 1. So multiple with 1 doesn't matter. So we take the limit as y tends to 0 of the whole of this. So take note, the derivative of this is going to be 1 over 1 plus y. Then it was divided by the derivative of y, which is just 1. So as y tends to 0, 1 over 1 plus y tends to 1. So the limit of 1 over 1 plus y as y goes to 0, is going to be 1. That means that the limit of the power over here, after applying L'Hopital's rule and doing some simplifications, we had 1. So this is going to be e raised to the power 1. So everything at the top there is 1, which is just equal to e. So you see that this takes us to the result we had when we used the first method, that the limit of this right here is just e to power 1, which is just e. But if you wanted to just look at it, it would seem as if it's going to be 1, but it's no. But no, it's not 1, all right? Okay, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.